One of the ways that I think we're really genuinely different is that we've taken this whole phenomenon of service and we've said it's not airy-fairy and fluffy ideas. This is not about go the extra mile. This is not the customer is always right. I think we looked at it much more seriously and said, let's architect the design of an organization that provides consistently outstanding, superior quality service. And in the same way that if you wanted to do defect reduction, you might study Six Sigma and understand the fundamental principles. Or if you wanted to go faster, then you would study lean manufacturing or cycle time reduction and their fundamental principles. Well, the same thing is true in producing an outstanding service experience. There are fundamental service principles that need to be understood by everybody inside an organization. Now, when I say everybody, that means the people at the top of an organization, those who are managing, supervising, those who are on the front line, whether it's external or internal provision of service, need to understand that there are fundamental principles at play. Each of those principles is brought into action through what we call key learning points. And so those learning points need to be understood. And then each person needs to understand, how do I apply that learning point to my job? What does that mean when I'm over the phone? What does that mean when I'm over the counter? What does that mean when I'm following up with someone? What does that mean when I'm being proactive? What does it mean when I'm working with a colleague or with a business partner? So what we've done is we've taken this whole issue of building a superior service culture very seriously and dug down deep to find fundamental service principles, key learning points, and then design the exercises to help every service provider find a way to link that learning point to their job and identify the practical action steps that they can take to uplift and upgrade the quality of service they provide. One of the ways in which we are different from most other educational organizations and corporate learning development, organizational development, consultancy firms, is all we focus on is building superior service culture. There are a number of very good organizations in the world that focus on uh, leadership and sales and customer service. Well, that's not us. All we're focusing is on this particular area of building a superior service culture. Um, I think another thing that makes us very different is that we are extremely broad-based in terms of industries. We work with high tech, we work with medical, we work with government agencies, we're in educational institutions, retail, manufacturing, finance. And why we're able to do that is that our focus is not so much on what are they doing for the customer as how are they doing that for the customer. It's not so much what is the product that they're selling as what's the experience they're creating. And it's not so much what are the competencies required in the staff as what is the culture like and how does it support the staff to be able to help them provide an outstanding service experience every single day they come to work for their customers as well as for their colleagues. I think that makes us distinctive and certainly the organizations that we've had the privilege of working with have found not only that we're absolutely dedicated and focused to that outcome, but that the outcome that they're achieving is what it is that they've been looking to achieve sometimes for a very long time.